I think Philip Broberg is six. Vinny DeHarnay is seven. I think you After just the last game. Yes. And it's not like it was just last game. To me, that's the straws that have now broken the camel's back with Vinny. His speed, it just is not there. He's making some poor decisions on when he pinches and when he's got to get rid of a puck. And I look at the numbers Philip Broberg's produced on ice. It's very five good. on five. Like again, not playing a ton, but he played 948 last game and the shots were 6-2 Oilers. The shot attempts were 14 to 4. I know they start him in the O zone more often than they start him in the D zone. Don't care. That guy, when he's on the ice, the play is moving in the right direction and they're not getting killed the other way. It's a no-brainer. Broberg played 948 at five on five. DeHarnay played 621. I think Broberg's going to be closer to 11, potentially even 12 minutes in this hockey game. I think that might have been Broberg's best game all season, to be honest. He was super noticeable in everything that he did. He was progressing the puck very well, Mm -hmm. just making plays, which is something we haven't seen often enough from him, to be honest. But he took his opportunity and ran with it massively. Yeah. Day on A for me, like I think he's just got to be on the penalty kill and get the odd shift here and there because he is a good penalty killer mm-hmm. and he helps with that length. I know he made the mistake in the last game, but he does bring value and it's it's kind of crazy because his mistakes are just absolutely like just they're right. so avoidable. They're so, yeah, so avoidable and they're so costly. So I, I just feel like there's a there's a, you know an upstairs issue at the moment because like when he first came in, super simple game. Now you know. There's that one where he does the giveaway when he just kind of, you know, controller is unplugged and he just kind of freezes there and doesn't move and lets himself, you know, essentially get stripped. Like he yeah. did, he did get the pass off, but it was, it was muffed because he allowed himself to get tracked down. Just little, like, like, just like in, in those situations, because you're not, you know, a Darnell nurse, um, you know, Vinny Deherney, no, like that's not even a knock against you. Like, just like make the simple play and get the puck, you know. Does that maybe have to land your? That's what made target. him so good. Just early get it, in get it down the ice. Like yeah. that's 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 the job. Like it's it's just avoiding a giveaway. It's avoiding you know a turnover. Just get it down the ice and let your forwards go and chase it down. Like I know that's not the most ideal, but it's better than the alternative. Scott Aroni, Liam, you like this? He says Tyler, not enough wall in this shot. He was like more wall, less of maybe even you then. I don't know. Yeah, uh, I got to the roof. Uh, Dave Luntz has a slower team. DeHarnay goes back in. Yeah, again, they're not taking him out. I think they're just going to cut down his minutes. I think you could trust him on the PK still. I think that's yeah. a spot where big you could stick, utilize big him. Big guy, right? yeah. No block shots. Yeah, yeah 100%. 